सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एडू टैप एंड वेलकम टू द इलेवेंथ लेक्चर ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इंजीनियरिंग एंड दिस इन पर्टिकुलर दिसली टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टोरेज स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो फॉर योर एग्जाम पर्सपेक्टिव अगेन स्टोरेज स्ट्रक्चर बिकम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो वी विल डिस्कस वट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर देयर इन नबार्ड एग्जामिनेशन फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक बट बिफोर दैट डू रिमेंबर टू सब्सक्राइब टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट पी डी एफ जस्ट वेट फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एंड द पी डी एफ विल बी अपलोडेड इन आर टेलीग्राम चैनल so so make sure you have joined our telegram channel too okay so before we move again talking about the time table today we are discussing about the farm and agriculture engineering and in in this particular topic we will talk about the storage structure okay and before we start that there is a homework that i have given you and we will discuss that only so your question from the last lecture was in which we study about the irrigation so your question was for medium irrigation project the cultural command area is how much Your options were more than ten thousand hectare, one thousand to five thousand hectare, two thousand hectare, two thousand to ten thousand hectare, or none of the above. See, when we talk about this particular irrigation project, why we need irrigation project? Because your plant need two things. What is this? Nutrient that are given by soil and the water. So this water become very essential for your plant. So that is supplied by the irrigation. irrigation is natural supply of plant because naturally rain is there but man made irrigation is there okay artificial water supply is sorry irrigation so now talking about the irrigation this irrigation projects are divided in three parts and the most important that you'll have to remember the trick for your examination is to remember the medium size irrigation project and the me medium size irrigation project cover the cultural command area now what is this cultural command area so this particular dam or the project will control some area and among the area the percentage of land or the area of land that is under the agriculture activity becomes your cultural command area or you will see in your exam written as cca that is cultural command area so for your examination you will have to remember for the medium size project our cultural command area is 2000 to 10000 hectare anything below that will be minor and anything above the 2000 will be uh, sorry above the 10000 will be the major project okay so what will be the our correct answer so most people in the comment section has also given the correct answer and of course your correct answer is 2000 to 10000 hectares see quite easy it is so now that is out of the way now let uh, take a quick look at the agriculture engineering and what kind of question are there so in last year examination for phase 1 you can see there was one question and that was which of the following is a metal ion structure your options were cap pau bin pusa bin hagebu or none of the above so i'll wait for few second if somebody want to attempt it right now can do it okay and again in the end of the video everybody of you will be able to give the answer correctly and that is a surety okay so and it, it is no problem see since we are talking about agriculture engineering and it's a allied subject sometimes the people with agriculture background you know so, so struggle in this particular topic that is agriculture engineering so if you don't know there is no problem okay once we have discussed it you will be able to guess the answer or get the answer right so now let's i think uh, people don't know but no worry students Uh, so we will discuss it now so first of all see you when we talk about your agriculture engineering so what we are talking about your farm machinery and why you need farm machinery the agriculture doesn't mean okay uh, pick a tool even if you are picking a tool that tool will come under the agriculture engineering but let's say you are picking a tool and do just tilling okay just level the land or just put the seed in do irrigation and the, uh, the agriculture is completed no agriculture is very complex uh, condition okay it's a co complex process and it it is not that easy so we need some kind of support machinery support since most of our agri farmers okay india we all know that most people are dependent on agriculture itself and the productivity itself per people is a low even though most people are there so what we need we need some kind of help outside help or the machine help to you know make our agriculture productive because why because good agriculture means good gdp okay people will have more food people will be able to live a healthy and good life 
Okay, so that's why upliftment of agriculture means upliftment of our country. So that's why agriculture engineering is very important and allied subject in the agriculture sciences. So in what step do we need the agriculture engineering? So, uh, so in rough way, okay, in a layman language or in simplified manner, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the agricultural step. Okay, so Sohan, don't worry, I'll uh, answer your query at the end. Don't worry, we'll have a dedicated time of 5-10 minutes in, the, in that particular time. I'll cover all the queries that are not related to your particular topic, okay? For now, let's just focus and uh, have a flow. So, when we talk about the agricultural subjects or the steps in the agriculture involved. So, in a layman language, what we do? So, first of all, where you are doing the agriculture? Of course, in the land. So, what you will do? You will maintain the land. So, land preparation is there. In that what you will do, if you have land, if land up niche, you will level it, okay, and if the land is too hard, ki seed nahi sakte. so what you will do, you will prepare the land, ki usko khod rahe ho, mitti ko lose kar rahe ho. you will do all that steps, so land preparation is there, then what you will do, sowing, okay, then you will put the seed, then what you will do, to maintain the plant health, so you have seed, laga diya, but now what will happen, there will be some bird, Okay, that will eat your seed. There will be some diseases that will attack your plant. So what you will do and irrigation also you will have to maintain the fertilization you will have to do. So what you will do, you will first of all irrigation will be there. Then you will also do weed management or simply management we can say but weed management you will do. And what will you do? You will do fertilization. And after all these steps, your crop is ready now to be harvested. Okay, so what you will do now? After fertilization, you will harvest your crop. But is it enough that we crop daily and then we left it in the field? No, we will have to do post harvest. Ki store kaha kare. So, post harvest is there. Or if you have to, you know, transport your crop. So, see now why agriculture engineering is an allied subject. Because every step in the agriculture engineering, oh sorry, agriculture will involve some kind of agriculture engineering intervention. Let's talk about the land preparation. So, in for land preparation, you have seen, I think most of the people are familiar with the uh, factor of tractor. You use tractor, ki bhai land khodni hai, some kind of machines are there. Even when we use plow, so modern plows are there. So, we are using some kind of mach machinery. Okay. Then moving to sewing. For sewing, there are machine again, uh, tractors are there. Okay, special machines are added to that so that we can easily do showing. Sh sh then irrigation, we talked about the irrigation projects. So for irrigation too, when we are, you know, using different kind of pipes and supply, irrigation can uh, happen. Then talking about weed management, again you use some kind of tools. You know, uh, you apply some kind of tool to already uh, the tractor that you use in sowing and land preparation. You can uh, use in the, uh, the fertilization and weed uh, management too. And what you'll do, you will put out the weed. Of course, you can do it manually, but it will take too long. Okay, then moving to the fertilization. Again, what you need, you need some kind of, again, you can do broadcasting by hand, but it will be a waste of time. And also too much fertilizer is needed when you, uh, you know, just put the uh, fertilizer, uh, fertilizer out in the field. So you again need some machines there. Now talking about harvesting, the agriculture engineering become very important here. So because harvesting, it doesn't need too many times and you'll, uh, you know, once you have uh, collected your crop from the field again what you need, need to do you will again put some other seed or for, you prepare the field for the other land so if you take too much time for the harvesting your sowing for the next crop will be late so that's why you need again the help of the machines then talking about post harvesting see even when we talk about all these steps the post harvesting is very important in the term that it can prevent the wastage of your crop you have you know put your all the efforts in the growing the crop and you have got, got the good results but if you can't maintain that good health of your crop that is that will be total waste okay so whatever production you get that is very important to maintain that production so again talking about these all these steps see one thing you have to understand here we can go one by one talking about tractor, talking about what we can do sowing, talking about irrigation, weed management. We can cover every step but what will happen because of that? These are not very important for your examination. Okay, now but we won't be asking ki bhai kaun sa tractor you use there, ki kaun si company you use there. That will be waste of time. So what important here is that we talked about the post harvest and what kind of structures are asked there. Okay, so and see in the PYQ, Nabard is also focusing on the storage structure itself. Okay. So, in this particular lecture, we will talk about the storage structure. 
okay uh, so talking all the storage structures what are storage structures see again post after the post, post harvesting suppose some crops are perishable some crops are non perishable some are semi perishable what does this mean so perishable means suppose your fruits are there your vegetables are there that have high moisture content it means too much water is there that's why what will happen they will go spoiled okay too early so they will be spoiled too early so microorganism attack is there pest attack is there internal processes matlab what happen if you take fruits or vegetables you can't store it uh, store them for years okay and ages without any help from the uh, preservation techniques so what happen in that case your apple can go uh, you know bad after 2 3 weeks your oranges are even less weeks you all know your bananas can go bad in a few days so these kind of fruit they have low shelf life so there is you don't need to store them you need to consume them as fast as possible but when we come to the semi perishable crops or to the grains specially see what happen in grains grains are particularly basically your seeds and they have good shelf life and your our population in any country you know go around the world so every population have grain that is involved in their uh, basic diet so that's why we need for the whole world it is important to maintain the storage of grains now what is these grains wheat rice that all okay maize we talk about so all these are grains so in this uh, particular lecture we will talk about the storage and structure that are basically deal with your grains so i think everybody is clear why grain topic is very important and you will understand once we start the lecture you will understand that how can we classify this and even though it sound like okay bore me dalo and pack it why it is very difficult and you will have to remember it okay so first of all see what happened it's not like ki only we are since we are talking on uh, august that we know ki okay grain storage is important everybody throughout the human history we know that food is important and since you have some food fruit or food we come to come in particular season so your foods are season dependent that why, that is why it is important to store the food through sorry food especially grain that our population is dependent on so first of all talking about the traditional structure that are the structure that has been used for the centuries okay yeah, that you are in our villages we can see all the people in the farmlands can use them so these are our traditional storage structure purane structure that are okay improve storage structure see what happens sometimes if a, there is a single farmer and we all know in india highest percentage of farmers are marginal farmers so especially you will see these kind of structure the traditional structure we talking about they don't have too much of the storing capacity the storing capacity usually okay uh, okay mangesh i tried so uh, traditional structure is the structure that you find in the villages matlab jo hamare aate chalde aa rahe structures okay in the from the village or the earlier times so pehle se uh, use ho rahe hain that are not modern jo abhi nahi invent ho rahe so that are your traditional structure ab india mein kya hai most of the farmers are small farmers okay chote farmers zyada hai marginal farmer that we call so for these farmer the production can't be 150 ton ab aisa nahi ki chote farmer se you get uh, too much uh, you know production so they have limited uh, storage limited uh, production they need small storage so usually for traditional structure the storage capacity is 1 to 50 tons so jo hamare traditional storage structure hai inki capacity they can hold wo kitna le sakte hain 1 to 50 ton they can keep okay then hamare aa jata hai improved storage structure so hamare jitne bhi saus icar aur jitne bhi research institute hai kvks hai You all know they are involved in what improving the condition of agriculture. So ये सब क्या करते हैं हमारे एग्रीकल्चर के बढ़ाने में इन्वॉल्व है सो वट दे डू दे ऑल्सो यू नो सिंस यू कांट गो अराउंड की फार्मर्स के पास जाओ यू सेट की ओके दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर जस्ट यूज इज फार्मर विल बी लाइक ओके नो नो मेरा पुराना वाला स्ट्रक्चर इज वर्किंग वेल सो वट दे डू दे डू सम मॉडिफिकेशन इन द ट्रेडिशनल स्ट्रक्चर एंड दे कॉल इट इम्प्रूव स्टोरेज स्ट्रक्चर थोड़ी सी इनकी कैपेसिटी भी बढ़ा लेते हैं सो सी हेयर वन वन टू फिफ्टी टर्न इज देर कैपेसिटी यहाँ कैपेसिटी हो जाती है हमारी वन पॉइंट फाइव से वन फिफ्टी टर्न ओके नाउ मूविंग टू द मॉडर्न स्ट्रक्चर सी नाउ द एग्रीकल्चर इज नॉट लिमिटेड टू फार्मर्स अब आपके हर जगह फार्मर्स इन्वॉल्व नहीं है यू नो अबाउट द आई टी सी ओके बिग कंपनीज बहुत बड़ी कंपनीज इवन व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द गवर्नमेंट एजेंसी यू ऑल नो एफसीआई पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के लिए ग्रेन इकट्ठा कर रही है सो दे हैव अ लार्ज क्वांटिटी ऑफ ग्रेन 
sorry grain so what they do they need to collect the grain okay they have large quantity of ab fci or jo hamare international uh, companies are multinational companies hai that are involved in the agriculture activity unko kya karna hai bahut hi zyada amount mein unka 150 ton nahi hai they need a lot of the uh, grain so unke liye we have developed the modern storage structure okay now last the farm silo structure see ye teen hai hamare grain ke liye This one is particularly about the forage. It means जो घास फूस जो हम रख रहे हैं ना जो हमने जानवरों को फीड करनी है दैट विल कम अंडर दी फार्म सीलो ओके सो बेसिकली वर्स द एम हेयर सी दिस पर्टिकुलर स्लाइड इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर नाबार्ड एग्जामिनेशन ओके वाई वट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल कम फ्रॉम हेयर द क्वेश्चन वोट बी कि भाई कुदला टाइप बताओ किससे बना है That won't be the question. The question won't be like कि okay share type की tell the dimension of shed. No, ये question नहीं होगा. Question क्या होगा? They will give you a name. Suppose they will give you P A U B. P A U B comes under which? Okay, simple question will be there and direct question will be there. So इस slide से what you'll have to do? Read about the traditional structure. You don't need to revise कि ये किससे बना है, ये किससे बना है. इन चारों में difference क्या है? No, that will be the total waste of time. And sometimes So, you know in traditional structure what happen kya hota hai ki uh, sometimes the structure is same but you are living at one part you are living in other part you are using different language so you call the same thing in a different uh, term okay so that's why no difference is there so what you have to do you'll just have to remember all the names okay here you'll have to see ki thoda thoda what is better uh, than the traditional structure then these two are you'll have to read broadly okay you don't have to go go too deep then uh, this one you'll have to just upar upar se dekhna okay so uh, this one you'll have to save now let's move to the main part first of all we will talk about the traditional storage structure it means hum grains ko पहले से हमारे पूर्वज कैसे सेव कर रहे हैं दैट कम्स अंदर अ ट्रेडिशनल स्टोरेज ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कैन सी व्हाट हैपन इजीएस्ट बताओ इफ यू एंड मी आर फार्मर्स एंड आर लिविंग इन अ यू नो ओल्ड टाइम हमारे पास कोई मशीन है व्हाट वी विल डू व्हाट वी हम आसपास जो भी हमारे मीन है व्हाट इज दैट मड इज प्रेजेंट एवरीवेयर ओके लीव्स आर प्रेजेंट एवरीवेयर ये तो हर जगह होती है पत्तियां मिट्टी ये तो यू विल फाइंड एवरीवेयर सो व्हाट दे डू एसी का एक स्ट्रक्चर खड़ा कर देते हैं okay what what is special about these structure see when you are preparing the st storage facility for the grains what the farmers do and that is very intelligent thing ki ye thoda sa iske liye platform banate hain it's not like they fix it okay okay see i'll remove it once i have written it i'll remove it okay uh, so what they do they put up a uh, platform over the storage structure so uh, these are morai type bukhari type muda type or kannash type so what you have to remember there that these these four are similar kind of and but they are present in the different states that why they have given a different name what you have to remember here you have to remember that mud is used or what the other thing is used gr grass that is for the roof is used okay then moving to the next structure see there is your kotha type and kutla type and in that what we do okay i'll uh, will not write in the board so uh, in kutla type what happened see halka sa overlay we left theek hai isme hamara aim hi hai ki we prepare a platform and we over left some overlay also the wood is used when we talking about kozra and kutla wooden uh, structure is more preferred okay then moving to the mud coty type you can see here we make the, uh, these are the mud coty type they have uh, low facility okay storage capacity is low here and what they are they are basically the mud beams okay jaise dustbin hote hain these these are mud beams then talking about hage ko these are the uh, these you can you know grab the land and you put a hole in there and the, these are hage ko these are also having a low storage capacity now talking about the metal and steel beams i think that we don't need to discuss because all of you know okay what happen in these so metal storage structures are there we uh, as you can see in the picture we put our grain there and they have some kind of outlet okay this is quite easy and uh, quite famous even in the modern times now talking about the bag type i think most of we uh, see whenever we see the grain we see it is it is stored in the bags so here what happen in the bag structure your granny bags made up of jute plastic something is there so we put there and they have some kind of capacity again the capacity in the bag type what is the advantage for the bag type you can see they are quite uh, flexible they can be easily go 
uh, okay they can easy, they are easy to you know teleport ta transport and everything and the other thing is see these are easily available and ba with bag what happen see agar meri ek bag ki capacity hai uh, one ton and if you have two ton of grain you can take two bags if you have three ton of grain you can take three bags so it will be quite easy okay so for uh, with bag type we can uh, modify the storage capacity so now that is out of the way i think everybody is clear on the traditional storage structure if anybody has any doubt do let me know and for here a traditional storage structure what you'll have to remember again you'll have to remember ki bhai storage traditional storage structure mein what are the types that you'll have to memorize the name of the every structure okay uh, so if everything is clear do let me know that too so i can move इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट the bag requirement of bag you can adjust according to the production you have okay uh, it wasn't like a one will be <laughs> okay uh, so i think we should move now uh, happy your doubt is clear so if any doubt come do let me know in the chat so talking about the improved storage structure see i have told you there are problems with the uh, traditional storage structure so what icr or the institute what they do they modify the ongoing structure and call them the improved storage structure and under that we will see there is pusa bin there is brick and cement bins there is pau bins there is cap storage and bunker storage so we will talk about that now see talking about pusa bins what pusa do so we all know ki mud mein kya hota hai as we have seen in this see mud wall is there and we are preparing uh, the storage structure from the uh, mud and the leaf so what they do pusa what they did they said okay use the uh, mud no problem when you are using the mud but what you have to do ki inside of the structure that you have prepared first of all make it a little rectangular so it will be easy to manage and what you have to do now ki inside of the wall use a polythene what polythene will do it will prevent the moisture that is ongoing okay the pest attack will be prevented some kind of disease and the other things will be prevented so they said ki okay use the polythene also you don't need to open the whole structure okay mud aisa nahi ki aap bar bar khod rahe ho what you have to do you have to provide a inlet at the top and an outlet of at the bottom so what you will do agar aapke paas naya grain aa raha hai and you have the next crop you just fill it from the uh, upside and if you need the grain just open the outlet and you will collect the grain okay now moving to the next structure see from the pusa pusa is still using the mud and the polythene with that in the inner lining but when we are talking about the brick and cement bins what happen so first of all the, the whole structure is now uh, made up of the cement especially uh, sp uh, cements and we are using the bricks so what will happen we all know why we make our house using cements and brick because they are resistant okay they are strong so similarly we need our storage structure to be strong and resistant to the pest there shouldn't be a rodent attack or anything so what will happen again just like the pusa structure we have given a inlet and we have given the outlet but the outlet here will be little slanted ठीक है वो थोड़े से एंगल पे होगा वाई कि हम यहाँ से ग्रेन इजीली कलेक्ट कर सके क्योंकि सपोज आपका एक बार लेवल आ गया ठीक है सीधे में ग्रेन आ गया तो आपके आउटलेट से ग्रेन नहीं निकलेगा सो देर विल बी अ प्रॉब्लम सो उसके लिए हमने हल्का सा स्लान कर दिया सो दैट ग्रेन कैन बी इजीली कलेक्टेड ओके नाउ टॉकिंग टू द पी एयू बिन सी पी एयू बिन वर्ड दे डिड इन ऑन टू स्टोरेज स्ट्रक्चर विद एक सेम एंड द पी एयू बिन दैट हैज बीन यू नो डेवलप्ड बाय और उसका नाम कहां से आ रखा है दैट इज पंजाब एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी दैट इज रिस्पांसिबल फॉर डेवलपिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर बिन स्ट्रक्चर फॉर द स्टोरेज ऑफ द ग्रेन सो इन दिस स्ट्रक्चर व्हाट दे हैपन व्हाट हैपेंस दे यूज अ मेटल ओके फॉर मेटल व्हाट दे डू दे मेक अ सिलेंड्रिकल स्ट्रक्चर दे कीप अ हैड ओवर देयर एंड दिस इज यूज्ड एज द स्टोरेज green storage bin okay now next is the uh, next is the so, so, uh, sorry bunker storage so talking about bunker storage see this is quite uh, cheap okay this doesn't need too much uh, money and for it is easy to maintain here so what we do you can see in the picture 
we collect we make a wall first of all wall kind of structure we made and then we fill our grain okay but you will be like ki okay ab to upar se attack karega barish aayega to kya hoga so after the grain is collected here from this wall we collect uh, a polythene like bag okay a root is given over the grain that we have collected and again these are very preventive okay the main advantage here is see you don't need too much infrastructure for preparing that even when we are talking about pau bin or we are talking about brick cement bin what you are doing you are creating a structure so that is working as your infra infrastructure and that cost money but for bunker you need simple uh, align the area okay just take a floor clean it uh, uh, align the area and also you have to prepare the platform too usko halka sa apne करना है सो दैट माउस रॉड एंड 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 ऑल दैट कांट एंटर योर ग्रेन देन फ्रॉम ऊपर यू कवर कवर इट विद पॉलिथीन सो आप ऊपर से इसको पॉलिथीन से कवर कर देंगे दैट इज योर बंकर स्टोरेज नाउ मूविंग टू द कैप स्टोरेज दैट इज योर कवर एंड planet storage what happened in that so in planet storage what we do see this is temporary storage you can't be like ki ek saal ke liye aapne grain cap storage ke andar chhod diya what you do since you have done the bag type suppose your bags are prepared now you need to store it in a warehouse or godam so what you do you just keep the storage first of all all the bags one after other one after other and then you use a polythene like structure and cover it and the polythene here is thick okay since we are not using any platform or anything so polythene here will be thick and we will completely cover it and once the time is up ki hamara godam khali ho gaya and we are able to move it we will able to move it to our godam okay this is also called baramda uh, storage so uh, if everything is clear from the imp uh, improved storage structure do let me know in the comment and if there is any doubt uh, that you can ask to i'll answer it so if everything is clear do let me know please so i can move okay uh so people are saying everything is clear so now let's move to the next structure okay these are our modern storage structure and what is good here see when we talk about the modern storage structure these are the huge structures okay yes cap you can use even uh, wooden storage and if you have no storage you know you no platform storage uh, platform involved sometime what happens in the varamda we are talking about now we are saying the uh, varamda structure uh, we are calling it varamda storage so what happens sometimes in that if your uh, the place the floor is already cemented or everything what you do you just put the grain there but if it is you know made up of mud and all then you put a wooden uh, you know platform okay so uh, talking about the modern storage structure see modern storage structure these are the structure that are required when you are a multinational company or a big farmer that has a lot of capacity and need required a lot of capacity because you have a good production okay now talk these are of two type that is silo type and shed type now talking about the silo type you can see in the picture so these are the silo type so what happen these are the metal beans so in other countries or the worldwide what happen these beans can be made up of anything they can be made up of aluminium they can be made up of asbestos or steels or uh, you know good graded steels rcc cement they can be made up of anything but when we are talking about in the indian perspective they are usually prepared by the mild steel beans and the rcc beans to prepare this particular structure okay now uh, these silo types can be of two type that is your deep silo type or the square silo type square silo type is a little uh, small and the deep silo types are with a lot height that is not important for your exam just remember that the modern storage type is the silo type that is enough for your examination okay now moving to the shed type see shed type is important because fc fci uh, that is food uh, corporation of india that also uses shed type so what we do in the shed type first of all you can see in the picture we need four structures your doors uh, should be sealed then you make a platform of the floor then there should be a slab okay that will prevent overlying uh, slab will be there that will prevent your animal from attacking that is rodent rat anything that is there 
and then you'll have a roof that will also prevent uh, the rain and the other things from uh, attacking your grain okay so shed type is very important why because your fci is using it and they are of very huge capacity again sometimes there should be there can be a window why for the aeration but again this video windows will be guarded there will be some mechanism that will prevent the fungus or the bacteria the spores or anything the pest even the flies you know uh, from them to entering there will be a structure to prevent that all and there will be doors that will be sealed so that nothing can enter your storage room these are again for use by your fci very important so the question can come from here is ki fci kaun se isme se use kare so your answer should be the shed type okay now let's move to the last one if everything is clear or if you have any doubt do let me know in the chat i'll uh, answer it okay so now we will move to the farm silos again when we are talking about the farm silos we have talked about the silo type structure these were used for the grain now when we are moving to the farm silos why they are named so because here we are not storing the grains we are use uh, storing the grass or the uh, you know forage is there or anything that is aiming toward the animals so what will happen in that so first of all your tower like structure is there so what we do we prepare a hole Okay, in ground we dig up a deep hole, and what we do, we fill it with first of all stone layer is made, and then we fill uh, the grass that we have uh, collected uh, to uh, to for our farmers, and then we put a soil over there. Now, why we are doing this? Since you all know that is not only the grains that is seasonal. Sometimes the grass in monsoon you see everybody the grass is overgrowing, but in uh, winters and summer what happen in extreme summers or extreme winters there is sometimes no grass. In some areas there is so much problem that no grass is there. so what we do we need to you know store our grass too not only the grains we need to store our uh, grass and the food for animals so in this what we do we put the soil over it why we are putting the soil so that the moisture and the other things can't enter our grass and uh, you know make it uh, spoil so when we are talking about the soil some people don't use soil now these are day there are better option available so what people do people put instead of soil they put a polythene bag over it but traditionally we what we used to use we used to uh, do so with the soil then you can see the horizontal pit and trench now what happened from there we have modified the farm silos how we have modified see here we are just making a uh, hole okay we are digging the uh, you know we are digging the ground and we are putting the grass there but what used to happen from there animals can enter to okay from there insect and other things can enter and can affect our grass okay so what we did we line this particular walls with the stones too पहले हम क्या कर रहे थे बस नीचे स्टोन डाल रहे थे बट देन वी स्टार्टेड टू पुट द ब्रिक और द कॉन्क्रीट वॉल अराउंड इट एंड दिस वन यू कैन सी अगेन वी आर कवरिंग इट विद द अर्थ एंड अगेन यू कैन यूज द आर सी सी एंड ऑल यू नो एज आई सो टोल यू कि ऊपर हम पहले सॉइल यूज कर रहे थे देन पीपल मूव टू पॉलिथीन देन दे कम्प्लीटली चेंज इट ओके नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ सॉइल दे आर यूजिंग द अर्थ ओके सीमेंटेड स्ट्रक्चर और समथिंग देयर देन यू कैन सी दीज लुक लाइक दीज ओके ये कंक्रीट से वॉल है एंड इन दैट यू विल फिल द ग्रास ओके नाउ वन थिंग यू नीड टू रिमेंबर इज व्हेन वी आर डूइंग द ग्रास और वी आर कीपिंग द ग्रास इन द सीलो सिस्टम सिंस यू आर स्टोरिंग इट फॉर द लॉन्ग टाइम एंड अगेन दीज कंटेन दीज बेसिकली कंटेन लीव्स एंड दे हैव गुड क्वांटिटी ऑफ मॉइस्चर सो दीज लीव्स गेट फर्मेंटेड इन द स्टोरेज ओके हल्का सा क्या हो जाता है फर्मेंट हो जाती है हमारी लीव जब हम उसको फार्म सीलो स्ट्रक्चर में रखते हैं ओके okay? बट उर्मिला सी वट हैपन अगर हमने इसको कवर नहीं किया एंड बारिश हो गई सो वट विल हैपन द रेन विल एंटर दिस ग्रास एंड दिस विल गेट बैड ओके दिस विल नॉट बी एबल एंड ऑल्सो वेन यूर यू नो समाइम्स वेन रेन वॉटर एंटर एंड वट हैपन विद दैट विद दैट इंसेक्ट ऑल्सो एंटर ओके कैचमेंट एरिया से आपका पानी आ जाएगा सो योर ग्रास विल नॉट बी प्रिवेंटेड ओके ये खाली खराब हो जाएगी फिर आपने मेहनत बेकार हो गई आपकी सो दैट्स वाई एंड ऑल्सो दिस सॉइल वोट भी कि लाइक हल्की पतली लेयर बहुत काफी थिक लेयर बनती है एंड उसको फिर क्या करते हैं काफी बार उसके ऊपर दे यू नो यूज सम एनिमल टू रन ओवर इट ताकि वो हल्की सी फ्लैट हो जाए एंड इट बिकम अ टाइट एंड ओके Uh, if anybody has any doubt from this particular part or any part we have discussed can ask now there are these structures seen uh, rahul do i am not clear on your question uh, but see what happen ye structure aapko samne nahi dikhenge uh, these structure will be undergrounded okay commonly seen uh, we are talking about farm silos or any other see uh, so 
Traditional structure you can find it anywhere. Suppose we are talking about Muda. This is these were found in Bihar. Okay, Kanch type we are talking about is Maharashtra, Karnataka. Kotha type can only be also be found in Uttarakhand. Okay, Kathula type uh, UP Bihar again. So I think metal steel bin is the type you have seen even in the picture or movies you have seen. Okay, these are the most common type. So these kind of and uh, bag type I think everybody has seen again. These two are very common. Then talking about mud coat he again uh, this was used in Bihar. Okay. Hagevi all over India. Okay, farm silos. Uh, see, wherever there are, there are extreme condition, they can grow it. Farm silos is, is the term. Okay, when we are talking about, suppose, uh, in the middle plane of UP. Okay, middle uh, stretches of UP, Ganga Kaja middle stretch. Eh? If you are talking about that particular area, what happened? Sometimes soil uh, lack is there. Okay, or uh, you know some farmer who don't have access to the, uh, they don't have their own farm and they're just keeping the animal there, but unke paas ghas ke koi storage nahi hai. So what they do in the uh, time, in the monsoon time, what they do, uh, farm jitni bhi wild uh, grasses hodhi, they collect it and they keep it in this structure. Then again, where, wherever your extreme conditions are there, you will find it. Okay. And especially in the villages structure, you will find these kind of farms. And then these farms are again, uh, you know, get modified on the same areas. If you have money, you will modify it. If you have limited space, no investment, what you will do? You will keep the traditional structure, okay, of farm silos. Uh, if anybody has any doubt now uh, from the particular topic, do let me know. If anybody has, uh, you know, journal doubt, do let me know. So there was some question. So now taking the query from the Shushmohan Singh here. Okay, uh, so see for this particular series at one p for 1 p.m. series, what we have done, we have first of all studied your PYQs, then we prepared this particular series. Okay, so if we're talking about the phase one examination, I would say there is 90% of course that we have covered according to the ongoing trend. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Let me just. Start, take the query then I'll take the questions too. So uh, what happened we have covered most of the slavers here and that is very important for your NABAD examination but you can't be 100% sure कि हमारे कहीं बाहर से क्वेश्चन नहीं आएंगे because we are not making the examination okay and you are not preparing the exam so question can appear from any exam but following the trend जैसे मैं आपको PYQs दिखाती हूँ तो following the trend we take a portion we take a chapter we cover see कि सबसे ज़्यादा PYQs कहाँ से आ रखे हैं कौन से नवाब के trend हो सकते हैं that we covered in this particular series so I would say you can depend on that but if you want to be hundred percent sure go for the sources too okay Farm implement. Okay, uh, you are talking about the farm implement topic in this particular uh, agriculture engineering. Mangesh, uh, let me be clear on that. Okay, talking about the Raju's question. See, if you have BIDA course, I think uh, everything is provided to you in that. But uh, if you don't and if you are going, you know, just going for the study or preparing for the first time, you have no idea. What you'll have to do, you'll have to pick the topic, you'll have to search the topic and there's huge slivers. Uh, suppose you can, you know, go for, suppose we are talking about the ARD, uh, static part, you can go for the e-courses. But what is the problem there? The course available is the for is for the people who are preparing for suppose say agriculture course you are finding this agriculture engineering or agriculture engineering what you will do you will go for the course and in the course you will find the course is course is prepared for the people who are giving the exam or who are being you know trained in this particular field and who are do doing their course for the four years so if you uh, you know want to you if you have four years go for the courses but okay uh, just go for uh, the same census report that we have prepared and also for the census and report you can also uh, check our others uh, we have provided the uh, content in the YouTube too for census and report I think Gurkira sir has covered it so you can uh, you know check that also but also if you are you know out of that and you want to you know cover the whole that will be a little uh, you would say I, I have guided you wrong so but it will be a long but you can go for the ministry's website and you can check the data but if since exam is here and you want to prepare well and smartly for your examination I would say just go for the YouTube data uh, YouTube video that I have provided to you okay See, uh, Suvohan, the problem is the NABAD examination is that when we are talking about NABAD, just take, uh, suppose we are taking ARD static portion. AR, in ARD static, you can see what are your slivers as we have covered and uh, 
you know first of all talking about introduction to agriculture tillage uh, organic farming cropping agroclimatic then and up to cloud you can find in the agriculture book okay then seed certification seed certification types of soil uh, nutrient deficiency sometime you will find in the book that are concerning the soil sciences then moving to the irrigation project uh, that can also sometime also come in the water management then when we are talking about the farm engineering agriculture engineering that's a whole different syllabus so you'll have to refer the different book then we are talking about uh, sub vegetative propagation again you'll have to consider a book that is related to your horticulture when we are talking about breeds of animal and we are talking about milk and we are concerning the animal you'll have to go go for the book that are concerning the animal husbandry or the veterinary okay when we are talking about fishery again you'll have to go for the fishery for agriculture extension that becomes different slavers so the problem see why I don't go people referring to uh, go for that book go for that book is the slavers is too huge I think all of you have seen the slavers so you will see a topic they have given the whole subject then they have picked some topic so if you will go for the book sometime uh, you know book will cover 2% of the slavers sometime the book will contain 80% of the things that are not uh, important for your examination so that's why I uh, say you weak risk while you are preparing for the NABAD examination the slavers is wide and slavers is too much different okay uh, so I think that answered your query but if you uh, you know still want the query do let me know in the comments not in the chat but if i see your comment uh, next time i'll provide you with the information that is related to the book what you should consider okay now if anybody has any other general query do let me know Uh, Mangesh, I'll ask. Uh, I'll can I answer your query tomorrow? I'll ask and I'll uh, since now for now I don't have any information, but but I'll let you know tomorrow. Okay, I have noted your query. Okay, uh, I'll answer you tomorrow if it, that is okay with you, or I'll put a comment and I'll also pin it so you can check in the video. See, uh, Nikhil, how you can do, I'll say go for the, first of all, as we have told you, for crisply or in a summarized way, in a concept way, go for the ARD static. Then go for the current topic, okay? Then go for the current topic and when you are preparing it, you will see, uh, if you have our course, I think you will see whenever we cover a current, current portion, we will cover the uh, static part. But if you don't, just see... Once you have covered all the static portion, not even 2D, roughly, roughly, if you have done it, then what you'll do, whenever you are reading the current information, just interlink it, okay? How you can do it? See, suppose we are talking about, uh, I think, mostly in the current affair, what you will see, uh, let's say we are talking about the green manure, okay? Ki green manure kya hai bhai? So, what you have to do, other green manure related, you have an information ki, okay, this is uh, provided, okay, and this is important. What you will have to do, you will have to open the book, go for the Google, I think internet is enough or you can go for the general video that we have provided. That's how, that's how you have to interlink it. Interlink it. But if you are thinking ki, without preparing static, I will do ART ka topic lo and cover just the background for the ART topic that is important. That's a very wrong and dangerous strategy. See, some in the agriculture static, if you have re, uh, written the PYQ, since, since today, today itself you cover the PYQ. Na? Uh, so that was your PYQ and the question was which of the following is metal iron storage structure. So if you have covered the PYQ uh, current affair only you won't be able to get the answer. So aapko ek bar ke liye static you'll have to see that is very important. No, no, it is not like that black like shadow. Uh, no, no, uh, actually that was a habit I do know and today the slide, usually the slide has space that I uh, used to write but today the space was not there. So, I wasn't taking it that seriously, but I was trying my best, ki, uh, okay, I shouldn't overlay it. <laughs> that is not a problem. Black shell, that is not a problem. Okay, uh, if anybody has any other doubt. So, I think uh, everybody is clear on everything. So prepared well for your examination, your examination tentative date, date is there. Okay, uh, so I think 
this is the time you should not only uh, you know study but you should also revise so whatever you are studying do revise it uh, especially ard and esi portion because they are again your merit portion these are so these become very important for your nabard examination okay uh, okay it's the already, answer is already given but okay try to attempt the question that pyq abhi sona i think most of the queries are there, uh, covered so now let's take a look at the question so which of the following metal iron storage structure is there so your options are cap PAU, PUSA, HAGEBU or none of the above. So we have studied that the particularly it was what it was. It was modern structure. Okay. Uh, and modern structure we have told you which one is. In which they what they do. They maintain the structure but they change the material. So you have to tell that. Uh, so try to answer it. Okay. Om Prakash has given the answer. Urmila has given the answer. Very good. Nikhil has given the answer. Okay, everybody try to attempt it. Even if you are wrong here, don't worry, just give the answer. And if your answer is wrong, you won't be wrong in the examination. Okay, okay, so Swohan has given the answer. Okay, Raju has given the answer. Very good. And uh, okay, Mangesh has also given the answer. Very good. So most of you are correct. Rahul, you are correct. Very good. The answer is of course the second that is a PAU bin. And can anybody know, let me know the PAU's full form? Or ye kiske basis pe tha? Okay, Kunal, very good. Uh, now let me know the uh, full form of PAU. No, no, Nikhil. Uh, the correct answer is PAU. See, uh, Islam kya karte hai? We make structures and metal beams were there. Okay, I will show you. Okay, Om Prakash has given the correct answer. Shushwohan has given the correct answer. Or, and for Nikhil, okay, Urmila has also given the correct answer of PAU full form. So, uh, see, this was your structure for PAU. Okay, Punjab Agriculture University developed this particular structure. Why? To help our farmer with the storage uh, facility. Okay, small structure, capacities ki zyada nahi thi, but kyunki ye metal ka bana hua hai. So, it prevents the attack from the pest. Okay, Mangesh has also given the correct answer. So, now moving to the next question. So, this question was again not in the Nabad examination, but what kind of question can be there that we will answer and you will have to answer this particular question. The question was, which of the following is the modern storage structure? Your option were Silo, PAU, PUSA, Hagebu or CAP. Okay, from so we are talking about the modern storage structure. So modern, आपको कैसे याद रखना है? Modern will have a good facility, अच्छी खासी capacity होगी. The multi, you know, multinational companies that are involved in the agriculture, the big companies, the big farmer that are involved, they use these kind of structures. So what was the answer? Okay, Urmila has given the answer. Okay, Black has given, Black Shadow has given the answer, Divya has given the answer, Om Prakash has given the answer, Mangesh has also given the answer. Okay, Preeti has also provided the answer. So, uh, seem like you all are understanding what I am teaching. Of course, the correct answer is Silo, not Hagebu. Silo will be the correct answer. Okay. Okay, uh, Hagebu concept. Okay, that will be the question. So now moving to your uh, practice question that you'll have to answer. Okay, okay, Rahul, Preeti, Lokesh, Kunal, and Nikhil has also given the answer. Okay, Nikhil has also provided the document. Okay, option A, countless number of FCI go down are there. Very good. Om Prakash has also given the answer. Okay, Scouty has also given the answer. Now the question is for practice that you'll have to answer tomorrow. Okay, I'll answer it tomorrow. You'll have to give the answer in the comment section. And the question was, which of the following is the traditional storage structure? Your option are Kutla, Silo, Morai, Hagebu or Cap. Okay. Pusa is the traditional type. No, Kunal, Pusa is not traditional type. It's a uh, modified storage. See, in case of Pusa, what they did, already the structure thi, amare, since farmers are hesitant using the new technology, okay, small marginal farmers, they are hesitant. So what Pusa did, they did a new kind of approach. Usno, un, unko, jo already existing structures the, they did it modified. Kar diya. They didn't completely change it. Taki farmers uske liye thode se hesitant kam ho. Okay, so, uh, okay, Okay, uh, no need to give the answer here. Do let me know in the uh, comment section. Okay, I'll answer it tomorrow. 
so that was all i think every query is answered now if anybody has still has any doubt do let me know in the chat and if the chat is over uh, mention your queries you know in the comment section okay uh, so that was all an answer i also want in the comment section too so that was all for today thank you so much for attending the lecture urmila esi class uh, okay i have totally forgotten this esi class okay i'll provide the esi class too okay so do let me know uh, don't answer in the chat section everybody will know so see why i am giving you the uh, practice question in a, you know in the end of the every section because your nabard examination is too near so what happened once you have covered this current affair for now the session is you know clear and in your your mind so you will be easily able to give the answer but at the end of the day since uh, there is some time of 8 hour 9 hour 10 hour have you retained that knowledge to know that this is my question or this is my aim with this particular questions okay so just do you what you have to do give the answer in the comment section and you don't have to comment the section okay session is and okay uh, give quickly the comment no my aim here is if once you have studied the session if you have retained it or not retained it that is my uh, you know aim with that that's why what i'm doing now i'm also explaining it when there is a uh, next class so that there is some kind of shortcut or you should know that what is important in the examination so for your retention this question is important don't do it in the chat section what will happen for now we have discussed it this is fresh in your mind you will be able to answer okay but what is the case scenario at the end of the video that i'll know ma'am what is command area see uh, suppose there is a dam एंड आपका ये जो डैम है इसकी रीच है मतलब ये कहां तक हमें पानी दे रहा है अप टू वन हेक्टेयर हंड्रेड हेक्टेयर वन हेक्टेयर इज टू लेस हंड्रेड हेक्टेयर तो हम कहेंगे कि इसका कमांड एरिया है हमारा हंड्रेड हेक्टेयर नाउ आई थिंक योर कंफ्यूजन कम फ्रॉम कि कमांड एरिया और कल्चरल कमांड एरिया में अंतर क्या है तो क्या होगा देखो हंड्रेड हेक्टेयर में तो आपका पानी पहुंच रहा है तो दैट इज कल्चरल कमांड एरिया सॉरी कि जहां तक आपकी कमांड है ओके okay? बट वेन वे इसमें से क्या होगा सारे हंड्रेड के हंड्रेड में वो तो नहीं होगा कि लोग फार्म कर रहे हैं फार्म इसमें से क्या करेंगे सपोज फिफ्टी हेक्टेयर पे हम लोगों की फार्मिंग हो रही है ओके जस्ट फिफ्टी हेक्टेयर पे हो रही है पूरे में फार्मिंग नहीं हो रही तो जिस एरिया में हमारे फार्मिंग हो रही है दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर आर एग्रीकल्चर परस्पेक्टिव तो उसको हम कह देते हैं कल्चरल ओके कमांड एरिया तो दैट इज सी सी ए इज दैट क्लियर नाउ प्रीति so uh, that is your cultural command area and that was your command area ki total jahan tak pani pahunch raha hai aapka jahan tak suppose wahan pe koi aur business ho raha hai koi mashli paal raha hai koi janwaron ko pani pilana chahta hai so that comes under your uh, command area but jahan pe sirf agriculture ho raha hai that comes under your cultural command area okay uh, so thank you so much if any doubt persists do let me know okay uh, so i think preeti's query is quite clear uh, she has uh, answered in the chat section so thank you so much and if okay preeti if you have any other question regarding this particular topic i have explained it in the yesterday's video uh, the video about the irrigation so you can check that too okay so thank you so much for attending the lecture i think everything is clear and you will find this lecture helpful for your nabard examination and again don't just go for the lecture also revise it thank you so much uh, okay so also revise it and answer the question in the comment okay uh, at the end of the video revise also just taking a lecture will not be enough for your examination revise the exam is coming near okay the time is too less so all the best for your examination and i hope you'll have a good day if you have any query do let me know at hello@edutalk.co.in at or you can also visit our website too thank you so much